Hi, and welcome to already the third walkthrough of the house we're building. Let's drive up to the house and walk inside to see what changed since last time. One of the first biggest changes is that we've added some roofs to the house. This is the roof of the garage and they've also added a flat roof to the kitchen. We're using EPDM roofing material. In the end, both the garage and the kitchen will get a lowered ceiling so we can run pipes through the ceiling and still have it look nice. Next off, we see that a lot of cutouts have already been made in the wall. And even the electrician has started putting in uh, their wall boxes and we'll soon start with putting in all the pipes we need. If you don't remember all the pipes, take a look at some of the previous videos where you can see we had a whole lot. Moving on from the kitchen, let's go through the dining area into the living room. And here we can see the wall, or actually one of the walls, where our home theater TV music setup will go. I've provided lots of network and power connections, and there is also a ring network going through the floor, which I can use for surround sound audio cables. As you can see on the other side of the room, we basically have the same setup. That's because we aren't really sure yet on which side of the room we want the TV and on which side we want the couch. So this way, we can have it either way. Moving on, we're in the office and let's see if all the pipes are still there. Yep, <laughs> they're still there. I should be able to start uh, filling the pipes with cable in a week or two. And I'll be sure to make some videos about that. And in the hallway, we have some more electricity boxes and cutouts in the wall. I'm planning to do sort of under railing LED lighting so that there will be some light during the evenings. Uh, but more about that in future videos. Let's go upstairs and see what changed there. Well, one of the first things that, that's maybe obvious is a lot more light, or maybe less light if you look at the last video, but our skylights have been put in. Just the roof without skylights was really dark, but using these skylights there's lots of natural light in every room. Here are the pipes that need to go into the walls. Dakraam volgens tekening. That basically says put in the skylights as shown on the drawing. But you can't be too clear sometimes. So let's take a walk over the kitchen and the garage and take a look at the backyard. This is an excellent position to show you what our backyard will look like. Okay, maybe not what it will look like, but at least the size. It also gives you a good view of the overhang, or overstack as we call it, and the wood paneling they used. Or actually, it's not wood paneling, it's an artificial paneling called rock panel. 
And moving on, we get to the solar panels. These are three rows of 11 GA solar panels of 265 watt peak each in portrait mode, making 33 panels in total, or 8,745 watt peak. Let's take a look at the roof without the panels. This only lasted a few days. And this is what it looks like with the panels on there. Okay, let's go back inside and continue our tour through the hallway and take a look at the bathroom. There's almost nothing left of these walls, but that's because all our faucets are basically built into the wall, so it should be, look nice and tidy when it's all finished. Here will also be a big mirror, which will provide infrared heat to be able to warm up the bathroom real quickly. And this will be the washer and dryer and clothing cabinet room. As you can see, lots of wall removal has been going on. You can now also see a bit better how wide the staircase will be. So let's uh, quickly go upstairs and look at some more wall cutouts. It gets a bit complex when you have AC power, AC lighting, DC lighting and DC power all through the house. So that's why we have so many cutouts. On the attic they laid a second layer of floorboard which really helped in the rigidity of the floor. So looking at our view through the dormer, no horses today. Now let's take a look at what the house looks like from the outside. Okay, well, that's about it for this video. If you have any questions or comments, please let me know. And I hope to see everyone back for the next video. If you want to know when it gets released, please subscribe. See you next time.